Hi guys, we're gonna do a session on Venn diagrams today, a year 13 topic used in PM2. Now you would have covered Venn diagrams two years ago in year 11 in GCSE. But what we're gonna do today, as you can see from the board, we're gonna look at set notation. We've got AUB, we've got AMB, A dash, A dash and B, and it will go on with a combination of U and N, okay? In addition to that, we're gonna be doing dry diagrams using set notation, and at the end, we're gonna be calculating using Venn. So stay tuned. So first, we're gonna be looking at A and B. Now that is a notation that you saw in year 11. And what does that mean in representation of a Venn diagram? A and B represent the intersection of the rings of these two here. So in this case, A and B would represent this section there. And that would have been done in GCSE. So just remember when you see A and B, it's the intersection of the two rings. So when we go to our next notation, which is slightly harder, and we pronounce that A U B or A union B. And what that means, it's A and B however, includes A or B. And most students find this one more trickier than this. I'm gonna give you a little trick on how to deal with AUB. Okay, so when you see AUB, this means in words, all of A. So you can see I've ticked all of A, whether you're in B or not. B means all of B. Well, I already ticked that part of B, so the only other bit, bit I need to tick is that. So in all together, this means all of A, all of B, and including. So these three ticks here represent A, U, B. In other words, I can now shade those three. Our next notation is A dash. Now, although we don't have the letter B, A dash in GCSE meant not A. In other words, no coverage of A. So if you look at this Venn diagram, which parts of this diagram are not associated with A? Well, I can straight away see I can, it has to be that part, this part of the B. It can't be there even though I'm in B because it's associated with A. But you can also see I can have anywhere here because none of that is A. So if I had to shade that in, not A would represent all of this outside the circle, including parts of the B. And this would represent not A. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is draw diagrams to represent given notation. And what I'm gonna start you off with is some simple stuff and gradually build up to some harder stuff that you would have to tackle in your exams at the end of year 13. So we're gonna start off with A dash and B. Bear in mind that this and is easier to cope with than the U, and we'll deal with that later on. Remember what we said earlier, the and means intersection. A dash means you're not allowed to go in A. So imagine these are two rings, A and B, and we have perimeters around that. A dash means you cannot go anywhere near A. B means you can be populated in B. So this A dash B means I can go in here, but I can't quite touch there. Even though where my finger is, is B, I'm inside A dash, which is out of bounds. So the only thing I can do here is to shade that part there. And that represents A dash and B. You can be in B, but not allowed to be in A. Now, if we go to this one here, A and B with a bracket dash, you know through lower school, we'd have to do brackets first. So if you know that A and B is this central part here, this overlap, but then we say we can't be in there because of the dash, then naturally we can have anywhere there or there, but we can also have the outside of the circles. In other words, we can have 
all of this shaded in except the A and B. Because this dash here means everything that is not in that. So if I shade that in, we can have that, we can have that, but don't forget, you have to shade in outside the circles, this there. So the only part that's exposed is the white section. We're now gonna move on to A, U, B dash. Now I'm gonna show you a trick here using a different color pen because misconceptions arise with year 13s when it comes to union. And when it comes to union, just be a bit mindful of slowing down and having to use a different color pen. So A, U, B dash. Well, A, if I write my code down here, that's A and B. That means I can have A, that's there or there. And it says B dash. Well, B dash means outside B. So it can be there or there or there or there. In other words, if we shaded all of that in, I can have all of A and not B. So we're gonna have all of this shaded in. And don't forget, we can shade in this bit here. So you may have looked at and thinking, why have I shaded in this section there? Because it said not B. Well, that's the difference between the U and the AND. In this scenario here, I couldn't touch A because it was an AND A dash. A dash was absolutely out of bounds. So you couldn't touch A. Here, because it means OR, that A was fully covered, OR not B. It means I can have this bit here, but it doesn't mean that you have to take that shading off. And that's the difference between the U and the AND. When we go to our third, uh, fourth example here, we can see we've got three rings because I've got three different letters. In this case, I've got A, I've got B, and I've got C. Now, just by looking at this question here, it's obviously quite a tricky one to look at. The question is, what do I deal with first? Well, we've got brackets, so let's deal with the brackets first. And in the bracket, it says A and C. Well, you'd know that A and C would be this section here. That's a U, it's not an AND, which means I can have or B. Now, if I look at B, yes, this tick is part of it. Or B means I can have that, that, and that. Now, before I start shading it in, let me just explain that again. Looking at the brackets A and C, it means I can have these two. But in addition to that, because it's an or, I can have all of B. So I have to finish off the B. So when you shade that in, I would have this bit, this bit here, this bit, this bit, and I can also have that bit there. And that is A and C, U, B. So we're gonna look at our next diagram and our next notation, which is A and C in brackets and B dash. Now you notice here, there is no union. So let's think about what we do first. Let's look at the brackets and we see A and C. Well, we know A and C are definitely gonna be there. But this is the and, it's not a U, which means there's a condition there. So out of that A and C, I'm not allowed to be in B. B has kicked me out. If you look at the two ticks here, they're both part of A and C, but this top tick, this upper tick, is part of B. So what we need to do is remove that. And that's the difference between the AND and the U. So when we shade it, we only shade in this small section there. Looking at the next one, A dash and, and in brackets, B dash UC. Well, we need to look at the brackets first. So let's just label my A, B, and C. And there's a union or a U involved in the bracket. So let's use the ticks. B dash, well B dash means everything outside of B. So I could have that one, I can have that one, 
I can have that one, and I can have the outside. Now those four ticks there would represent B dash. Union C means I can also have in addition to that, the letter C. So I can have that one and that one. So those six ticks there would represent not B in addition to C. And now we come to this bit, and this is my restriction. The restriction says, out of all the ticks that I've got, you're allowed to have all of them except anything associated with A. And if you look at these six, I've got this one, which is in, in the wrong territory, it's in A. This one is in the wrong territory, it's in A. And this one as well. So what do I need to do? I need to remove them. And if by removing them, I can then shade in this one, this one here, and I can shade in everything around the three circles. And this one would represent, represent that diagram there. Okay, so now look at our last example. This diagram has got A, B, C, and we need to put the notation A, U, B, and C and represent that on the diagram. So let's look at the brackets first. A, U, B. Now we know from before A, U, B means I can have all of A, I can have all of B, and those six crosses would represent this bracket A, U, B. But this and C means it's restricted within only C. So C means I can only have those ones. In this case, I would shade in this one, this one, and that one. 